Hello, I'm here to talk to you about the calm amongst the chaos. We cannot change what's happening on the outside world. We can only change our inner terrain. We can only change what's happening inside of us. I'm just going to show you the technique that I've learned over all these years. Meditation, first thing in the morning, last thing at night. And meditation is just stilling the mind, staying centered, concentrating on the breath. And it's not about cutting out the thoughts altogether. It's about not allowing the thoughts to control us. We can become the observer of our thoughts. That's just an interesting point of view I'm having right there. Finding the calm amongst the chaos. It's going to be different for everyone. For me, my center is now my heart chakra. I've worked through the lower chakras the safety, the security, the fear, and releasing a lot of that. And my creativity, my sensuality, and the sacral chakra, so the root chakra is all about our fears, feeling safe in the world. The sacral chakra is all about our expression, our creativity, our sensuality, our sexuality. And of course, the solar plexus is all about our power, standing in our power, understanding who we are here. So when we know who we are here, that we're in infinite being that our little car that we drive around in our meat suit is finite it has an expiry date we the infinite soul do not the infinite being do not we are a soul having a physical experience and also a fractal of God here of source of the universe having this experience and learning from it so the goal is to learn from our experiences and to grow and to evolve and to ascend finally. So for me, it's the heart. For you, it may be somewhere else. I don't want to control how you do this. I just want to give you some hints and tips. That's all I'm here to do today. So focusing in on whether it wherever your center is and we just use the breath the breath is magical to slow down our brain waves to slow down our heightened sense of being all the stimulation from the outside world and it's just a breath in and breathing out and a breath in and breathing out and a breath in and breathing out. I've had people say to me that traditional breath work doesn't work for them. Their mind gets too involved and that they resist the continuous breath, the cyclical breath. So sometimes it's just as valuable to just breathe slowly, just become conscious and present with our breath, become conscious and present in our center, wherever that may be. Wherever it may be that you can come into a place of oneness with you, oneness with source, where you can find some stillness within you. It's going to be different for everyone. Pop me in a comment below. Let me know if you discover your center through this process, through this five minute process. I'd love to know. So just breathing. And all the while, just allowing yourself to feel. All the while, just allowing your mind to slow down, to come into a place where you find your center, where you become present with yourself, where you allow yourself to just be here, just be now, just in this now moment, to be with you, to be focused, and to make you the priority for this five minutes. To listen to you. To hear and observe without any judgment your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. For me, because I do this so much, the energy is shifting and changing. I have tingling in the tips of my fingers. I can feel my whole energetic system aligning just by slowing down, just by being here with me, just by focusing on my center, 
my center for receiving my heart chakra, using my voice to convey to you the power and the potency of our breath and the stillness that we can bring ourselves. And when we cultivate this stillness within, it doesn't change what's happening on the outside necessarily. We may still have things come up, but it's a wonderful tool to navigate what we're feeling, what we're experiencing on the outside. It's a wonderful tool to stay calm while dealing with external triggers and external influences. It's a wonderful tool to have in your toolkit through the breath, slowing down the breath, taking time for yourself, taking time to be still with you, to be here now with you, present just with you, making yourself important for these five minutes, giving yourself the time that you so freely give to others, that you so freely give to things happening in the external world, that you so freely give to social media, that you so freely give to the television perhaps, to movies, to entertainment, to cleaning, to cooking, all those things that we spend time doing and yet fail to give ourselves five minutes of breath, five minutes of stillness, five minutes just being present with us, present in our centre, wherever that is for us, to just be present, to be still, to allow ourselves to slow down our brain waves, our breath, and to be gentle with ourselves for five minutes, just easing in, easing in, easing in. So I'd love to challenge you, even if you just play this for a bit of guidance each day, I'd love to challenge you to give yourself five minutes in the morning and five minutes before bed. And if you want to give yourself more, there's a huge downloaded channeled meditation playlist on my YouTube channel. You're welcome to it. It's completely free. There's affirmation loops there as well for healing, for money, for creating more ease with money in your life. There's all sorts of things. Worthiness, please do. I provide this service to help you. So in just slowing down that breath, and just becoming present with you. You don't have to keep your eyes open. I'm keeping my eyes open because I'm speaking to you. You can close your eyes and just slow down your breath and just keep breathing. You don't have to force it. It doesn't have to be a cyclical breath. It's just taking nice big breaths, coming into you, centering into you, grounding with you. Of course, to do this in nature, barefoot on the earth would be wonderful with the sound of the birds and the beautiful trees as our foliage. So just slowing down. There are other tools you can use is grounding, being barefoot on the earth, 10 minutes a day, 10 to 30 minutes a day. And you can be out in nature sitting under trees, which is calming in itself. The trees breathe out oxygen. And they also contribute electrons to balance up our battery charge in our bodies. We are positive proton, negative ion, electron. So just allowing yourself to breathe as we spend these five minutes together, in and out, in and out, and calming your nervous system, allowing yourself to be with you, allowing yourself to be still, for a moment practicing stillness on the inside so you can cultivate that stillness you can grow that stillness and then you won't be subject to the storms around about on the outside world the chaos you can find your own calm within the chaos clear your head give yourself some time to think some time to be some time to love you some time to support you and some time to nourish you through your breath. 
and through centering and being present with you in your body, allowing yourself to feel. I have such a charge in my hands now. I'm really looking forward to my breathwork group, my meditation group that are coming later today. So I can lay hands on them with this beautiful, beautiful charge I feel. So that's all I wanted to do for you today is talk to you about finding calm within the chaos. And just a few short tools through the breath, through presence with you, through being in the now, through slowing down your brain waves, and just becoming now with you. I hope this has been a contribution. Pop a comment in below if it has. And if you'd like to support my work, you can donate, buy me a cup of coffee for just as little as $5 on coffee slash becktransformation.com. I'll put the link in below. Thank you so much for joining me and let me know how you go with it. And if you're new to being still, if you're new to meditation, please do check out my playlist. and Maybe that can help you form a practice. I know the ladies that come here and have been coming here. Some since October 2023, some since January 24, are really starting to use the tools I provide and really starting to transform their inner terrain, their inner sense of stillness, their inner sense of peace and calm within the chaos that's going on in their worlds. I hope this has been a contribution. Beck from Beck T Transformation. Bye for now.